In this video, we will be going over the Elliott Wave Scanner. The Elliott Wave Scanner is only available in the Ultimate Edition of MotiveWave. And to get started, we can simply click on the scan page. Now to make it easier for this example, I'm going to close one of the scanner panels. In order to create an Elliott Wave Scanner, we can simply click on the New Scan icon found in the upper right hand corner of the panel. Or we can select from the drop down the New Scan item. From here, the wizard will start. I'm going to name this scanner Elliott Wave 2, since we will be looking for Wave 2. We can then click Next. From here, we can specify the instruments. Now we can select a single symbol. We can also import a list of symbols. We can also select a watch list. So in this case, I'm going to select NASDAQ. Now we can select more than one watch list or more than one symbol and MotiveWave will search in the order that they're listed here. If we want to change the order, we can simply select the item that we want to change and then move it down or up accordingly. Let's click Next. From here, we can add the bar sizes. So in this case, I'm going to add the daily. I'm also going to add the hourly. And again here, if we want to change the order, we can select and then move it accordingly. I want date on the top, so I'm going to move that back. And here we have extended data. And if this is selected, then data outside of regular trading hours will be included. In this case, I will leave it unselected. We'll click on Next. On the Specify Criteria page, we can choose the LA Wave pattern that we are looking for. Here we have Wave 2. This will search for an Elliott Wave pattern when the top level wave is currently in a Wave 2. And Wave 2s are commonly used as trading setups since Wave 3 tends to be the longest wave. If we select Wave 3, then this finds patterns where the top level wave is currently in Wave 3. If we select Wave 4, it finds patterns where the top level wave is currently in Wave 4. With Wave 5, it finds patterns where the top level wave pattern is currently in Wave 5. And if we select Wave E, it finds patterns where the top level wave is in wave E of a triangle. So let's leave it at wave 2. Here we have the option to define the historical data range. And this is done via the minimum bars and maximum bars. Now if we select use all available data, then we can set the minimum bars, but it will use all the available data available from the local database. So in this case, I'm going to use all available data. Here we have the option to set decompose levels, and this will specify how many levels down the top level wave should be decomposed into smaller waves. If we choose decompose all, then the wave will be decomposed to all possible levels. Let's click finish. You can see here now in the upper left hand corner, we have the Elliott Wave 2 scanner selected. Let's click on start to execute the scan. In the corresponding table at the bottom, you'll see the results listed. So in the first column, we have the symbols, the second column, the bar size, the third column, the time the scan was executed. Then we have the pattern column, which shows the patterns that are found. In this case, we were searching exclusively for wave two. And then we have a score column where Motive Wave uses its internal algorithm to determine the scoring of the scan result. So in this case, we have two good results, two fair results, and one very good result. So let's display the results by selecting the individual rows. Here you'll notice that we have on the top level our wave 2. Here as well. And also here. Now with any of these results here, you can move or adjust the waves if you wish as you see fit. And you can also have access by right-clicking to any of the Elliott Wave functionality. So for example, if we did not want to decompose all possible levels but only wanted one level, we can select Decompose One Level, select Yes, and now we only show the one level for decomposition. The results here, if you want to save them as an analysis for later review, you can always click on the Save As icon in the toolbar, and then name your analysis. In this case, I'm going to call it Elliott Wave 2 Scanner. Click Save. 
And now if I make the chart full screen, you'll notice here that it is available as an analysis here for later recall. So if I go back to primary analysis, it's not there, but if I call back my Elliott Wave 2 scanner, you'll see it here. Let's put it back. So that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next.